Generic greetings and welcome back once again to Airships Conquer the Skies, where in the previous episode we managed to make very good progress up the north here and we've taken all but one large city controlled by, well, this stripey fellow here, Dagger Guild, and what else have they got? Uh, Squello over the top left there as well. So overall good progress, but we are still getting harassed from the right hand side by this island uh, chain here. So the objective for this one is, quite frankly, to hopefully finish this off. Off. however we'll have to see I have got obviously some things like the Herringal and such ready to go but I don't think I'll be able to take things like uh, Squello and this main city down the bottom Dagger Guild I'm gonna send spies over there just to check those out we also repelled and actually captured the Mars class here which I do want to have a look at and people did request that we do that so yeah you can see it is a fairly interesting build it's got these uh, large suspendium dust tank end caps on well either side and as well as the middle as well to have this uh, blue Balloon shape and then it's pretty much a mirror by the look of it it's got one two three four sets of sails so it's actually reasonably quick I would imagine uh, it's speed is 66 so actually not really but for the size of vessel it is and for the cost of it because well the rebuild cost is 209 but it is quite a cheap vessel we've got a bridge at the back there I think we've got a bridge yeah there as well although the supply hatches are there which is interesting so a quick easy access to capture that thing but then you've also got like the the bottom turrets and the top ones up there and also rockets so yeah it's an interesting design either way let's unpause this thing and we will crack on to see what we can take as i said the objective is to try and take the rest of this there's things like gargoyle shell walker dragons i'm not really too bothered about going to defeat those but i definitely want to have a look at the titan blade weed before we actually finish the series and i know i've been threatening to do that for a while but it is what it is anyway i'm moving over our Actually, I think the Sparrowhawks can stay where they are, but I'm going to start moving over these guys as well, just to, just to you know, make more progress up the top. A lot of this we're doing brutal takeovers. Um, we have got a herring gull there. We have got our bumblebee and two cormorants here going to Tixi. Let's see if we can take that over with relative ease, which hopefully we should be able to. I'm not really too i'm not really too hesitant to attack in an aggressive manner because quite frankly they've only got things like this which is well it's a skull fortress so let's just keep moving forward and take out what we can and oh yeah that's a that's a victory and this is all going to be brutal takeovers so all of these here i'm just going to do brutal takeovers we do need to just take these out uh, infiltrating the city is almost complete uh, herring gull has been rearmed let's just go to defenses and repair those actually cancel uh, cancel it yes yeah let's just scrap it let's just completely scrap these anything like the defenses i'm really not going to be too bothered about things like that one will scrap it there's other ones around the place that we could uh, look at and scrap as well some of them like oh that's actually full i know we repaired some of them but yeah there we go anyway uh, there's also one i think it's in one of these big areas anyway let's just sort that out mm, let's just scrap that there you go so we're getting a bit of gold and also money will go up as well we're currently researching the suspendium projection which will give us the suspendium rays which means bluebirds so pretty happy with that spy is now active over here we can view the city and see that they have oh one uh, one ship is getting built and then they also have one two three four static structures i could for a reasonable amount trying to destroy them it's a grand and a 40 percent chance i am going to try and do that and sadly the plot failed we've never had in this campaign any great success when it comes to oh there's a spendium rays yeah we've never had any great success really when it comes to things like that which is a bit of a shame um i think we did in one campaign have it set up so we had the there's like a symbol you can take on your, on your coat of arms and it increases the it either increases the effectiveness or cheapens out the ability to try and wreck stuff and yeah it seemed to seem to work we've got our piercing rounds our lightweight rounds we've got flat cannons over there i think we want to go for flat cannons because well it's close enough but we now have suspendium rays which is good i'm going to probably join this fleet up into one big fleet i think that would be reasonable and then the sparrow hawks i'm going to move i'm going to move more centrally here because obviously there's no other vessels down the bottom and as soon as we start to move them off they are attacking by the look of it in fact yeah you can see they are headed straight over to where essentially where 
we were defending. So I'm going to intercept those because why would we not? These are going to join together, although I'm probably just going to... Can I just join them together like that? No, I can just click on them. Yeah, we'll just move to there. And then this is partially recovered from the war. This is ourselves versus these. Oh, interesting. They've got three ships here one two three but this one is a little bit larger so start the fight this one will say board that one this one will say board that one one pause it and these have got big cannons on the top so they're actually fairly powerful as ships go and oh they've also got rockets as well although they are the one shot ones i believe anyway let's just get ourselves away from the fight boarding is very much underway so we can see we've been able to oh capture this one straight away so i'm going to probably initiate some probably I think uh, landing over on that rock this is now captured and this is captured so we've only got one of them to deal with now just this one so I'm just waiting till I can gain command of it and then move it down this one I'm gonna do a similar thing and oh there we go so the rocket on the uh, the bottom of that was actually fired there I don't know if you saw these ones I am gonna tell them to ground and oh brilliant so what happened is this went down and even though this is on the level here one two three so it should have technically been a full block away from it as it landed for whatever reason i'm guessing because this the rock went down but the ship stayed there it's taken out the suspendium chamber and the propulsion which means we've lost that ship so uh so that is suboptimal and there it goes falling out the sky and crunch that's pretty much it that's a bit of a shame in fact it's not just a bit of a shame it's a huge shame and looks like that is now falling out the sky this one will bring down this one will also bring down i mean you know net profit we have gained two ships which is good but quite frankly i'm not entirely convinced it's been worth it i could actually maneuver behind this guy i don't know why i'm not Let's see if I can maneuver behind it. So we'll say move to there and then flip around. I've also realized that it's got a grenade on it as well. So we are going to move around. This is going to blow up on the back there, but it looks like we've won already because, yeah, there goes the ammo and that thing is pretty much dealt with. So I'm just going to max speed this out and wait to deal with it. Yep, there we are. And that's a Vic and Terry. And we will bring these back to Sculton there, just because it's the closest area. And you can see we've lost a Sparrowhawk, but we have got a Hound and Victory. So another Victory class. Sadly, not a Victory class destroyer from B5, but there you are. Uh, Grey Towers is recovering. Tixie has recovered. We will scrap that tower. Actually, you know what? For, for the 59, we might as well repair it. And am I going to try and destroy that again? I am not because, quite frankly, it's just far too problematic. These are now together. We will go ahead and invade Syntex at the top there. It's really slow to move over, but it is what it is. And I guess we're just having to wait now. Just view City here. This guy has got some stuff, but no airships, so I'm not really bothered. I would have thought they would have attacked over here. I really would have thought they would have sent that land ship to take that out, but apparently not. I'm just going to recall the spy because we gain a bit more money. I'm going to also send a spy over to Orbis on the on the right there. So we will repair the Sparrowhawk and we will repair the Victory. I'm thinking of scrapping this because, well, do we really want it? Well, we'll keep hold of it for now. Why not? And then we need a huge shipyard here, Black Spire. We've got a build ship and we'll see how much we can build. We've got Heron there, which is our torpedoes. Oh, aerial torpedoes, of course. That's something we haven't messed around with. I very much wanted the, well, the Honeybees 2700, but we can build a Bluebird, which is 1000. And 100. Let's go and build one of those because it is an amazing vessel, especially when stacked up with three or four of them, which is what I'm hoping to do. This Mars class, I will move over to Cubus here, and looks like that is partially recovered from the wall. We're going to have two fights here in Syntex and the other area. That is probably going to be an easy fight. In fact, it just says our days, hours, they have automatically given up. So that is victory. We'll do a gentle takeover of that one. And then I think it is time to attack down here and take over Squellar, which is a tiny shipyard, but it matters not. So it does feel like they're not really defending anything around here now. So, well, that's not a complaint, just an observation. Uh, this is Cubis here, who, well, they haven't got much, but what they have got is fairly, well, it's fairly small, but it's also got flat guns. 
I'm going to get closer and just sit here. I'm not obviously going to get in any real range to use the grenades. That would be silly of us. And that's a victory with a brutal takeover. And we're just going to keep invading here. This Mars class is actually fairly reasonable. I quite like it. It's, if nothing else, quite amusing. We've got a Sparrowhawk and Woundford, which I'm going to use to invade here. These guys have been sorted as well. And I'm going to start invading in the centre. Oh, you can see they've actually now changed direction and heading towards us there. So, we've got... Oh, I've got one vessel to deal with. Let me just move this down because they've got uh, a, a turret on the top. But I might as well actually creep forward as well because... Well, we've got the rocket and we have the grenades. They've also got a minigun. There we go. And then it's just a case of dealing with it from the front. Looks like they have a fire in the... <laughs> well, I was going to say the rear rocket weapon part, but, well, also the front as well now. I'm just going to have to go back up here just to see if we can get more shots out. The minigun is the one that's causing the most damage. And I don't... Have they got one around the back? I don't think they have, you know. I'm going to manoeuvre around. There we go. And that's a victory. That's a victory. We'll do a brutal takeover. But we are damaged. Going to go to Black Spire. But in Black Spire, I'm going to build another two Bluebirds. We want a stack of probably six Bluebirds. I think that would be reasonable here. And, oh... So this is a lot more to face than I would have thought. Okay, this could be problematic. To be fair, we knew that we were going to have some issues, but what I'm going to try and do is take out one thing at a time. Everything on this forward one until it's dead. When it's dead, then move on. So I'm still going to micromanage our... our bomber here, because luckily... The rockets seem to be heading for that. And at this range, I'm not really too concerned about their accuracy. <laughs> so you can see I'm moving around to try and alter our elevation. And there we are. It looks like these have actually finished shooting at this. They're not bothered anymore about it. So that's concerning. It's actually technically been defeated, but it still has a weapon. See that? It has got weapons. I'm going to say... Oh, no. It says it hasn't got a weapon. Okay, move forward then. So it mustn't have ammo. I'm guessing that's what's happened there. I reckon a shot will still fire from the back of that. No, no. It just hasn't done that yet. Move that up to there. This one can move forward. More progress still being made. Lots of fire in the rear of this vessel and I think we may have run out of propulsion yeah I'm initiating forward orders but nothing's happening yep we've lost sadly the propulsion on that one there is a way to fix this <laughs> it's it's not an ideal method but it is a method that we are going to employ so I'm going to slowly go towards the rear of the bomber and then I'm going to press R for RAM, and I'm going to go there. And what's going to happen is we are slowly going to push forwards <laughs> the bomber. And the herring gull will then be in range. Now I can still alter the... I can still alter the... Why is that going back now? It's weird that. Look at that. It's, it's starting to go back. Yeah, I can still alter the height of this thing. You can see I can move up and down when, when we need to, but... Yeah, I'm going to initiate a ram to there and again push it forward. We're still probably going to lose this, I would imagine. Oh, I think I've I think I've actually pushed it a bit too far. Oh no, it's it's about right. It's about right. And then we'll move this one down because doing this, by the way, we we've been losing a lot of firepower. I mean, this has been shooting this one at the back, but it's still not been ideal. This is the fight that we've had a couple of times and and lost. But we're doing what we can to deal with the problems at hand. 
bombs are still getting lobbed from this and the ammo is still really good as you can clearly see there uh, service ceiling on this is oh service ceiling on the, the ones on the left is not ideal and oh service ceiling is in left ideal on the bomber yeah the bomber has fallen down it is now dead there's the herring gull uh, there's the rear suspendium chamber path that was currently well it was flying for a while and then it ran out of ammo so yeah uh, we're going to probably ground this vessel as well there's no reason not to at this stage. I've put everything on, well everything's for the most part being on aimed fire or normal fire anyway, but I've put them on aimed fire and it's just a case of max speeding it out now and see if we can win it. There's only really the bumblebee in play at this stage and it's just a case of can we get a critical hit somewhere. If nothing else, we can still run away even though we've run out of ammo. We can still deal with it. These have got, well it had two turrets, now it's only got the one. I'm very much tempted to target that and just get that turret gone. Even though technically the firepower is on the back one there. We have 35 ammo remaining and it's been death starred. It collapsed and that's a victory. Whew, brutal takeover. Okay, that was the last big that was the last big um vessel up here. Uh, that last big city. That's good. Okay, pretty happy with that. So we're just gonna keep attacking and moving on. That is... Oh, interesting. So what's happened here is we've come across a an airfield, essentially. Which is really good. Something we don't often see, but boarding will be, well, relatively quick. And that'll be a win. There's all the planes shooting away there. And looks like that's going to be the bridge. We are getting shot at, but there we go. That's captured. All right. I like the way the planes don't immediately surrender. <laughs> we'll do a gentle takeover of that one. And move back to Cubis. Going to repair that as well, just for the 66 it'll cost. Just going back there to rearm, and then I'm going to go over to the right-hand side. That has been now sorted. And, I mean, all of this... Northern Territory is pretty much sorted. I don't know what fleet they've got. We've obviously only got three ships here. Uh, two of them are captured as well. <laughs> oh, look at that. Wow. I'm not too confident we can win this. This is the fight up the top, and they've got three airfields. Now, I'm very confident I can take at least one airfield. Whether or not we can take all three is... Well, we'll have to see about that one. I have a feeling that our, our vessel will get absolutely annihilated. But what I'll do is I will capture this, and then once I can... Once I can initiate more orders, I will tell it to... Basically, tell them to move on. So this is captured. Nothing can, I believe, nothing I believe can go there in terms of uh, rearming and refueling. I am initiating boarding on this, but there's very sensibly there's been rifles put on this. So when we when we are walking along, they are shooting us. You can see all the guys there, all blood splattered all over the place. Even though we can probably capture this, that is captured. Then we have one more fight to undertake. Mm, okay, I'm actually quite hopeful about this one. The yeah, that's a capture and a win. We'll do a, a gentle takeover on that. We did. Oh, we didn't actually lose the Sparrowhawk. Even better. Let's just repair those defences and put them at the back. So that's been rearmed, but it hasn't been fixed. These ones are going to repair. It's a gentle takeoff, so it's going to take a while. There's the flak cannon that's been researched. I'm going to go for heavy steel armor because then that goes through heavy cannon, and we might then be able to build uh, a naughty vessel of some kind. And oh, really? So this is the guy's fleet, right? Okay. So <laughs> what I was expecting was a little more. Not a complaint, just an observation. And we can see that here we've got some fights to have, but only against one, only against one, uh, one ship, and there's obviously one, one structure at the back which we are now boarding very effectively. I'm moving the Sparrowhawk back. There's no reason to. 
be elsewhere. Actually, I should go really around the back, but it's been captured. And there we go. They have one vessel still remaining. Why is that not firing? Oh, you have to activate single-use weapons. Yeah, of course. Sparrowhawk is on fire. I'm going to flip it around just to get cannons in. Although none of that actually happened. There we go. It's flipped. I think we'll probably lose the Sparrowhawk here, which is a shame. I'm going to activate single-use weapons. And there goes the rocket. Let's see if it's good. No. Sadly not. We should have probably got a little bit closer, to be fair. And that's going to be a victory. And we're going to do a brutal takeover. So they've run. They've actually were successfully able to pull back from that one. So these are getting rearmed and repaired. This one's going back and we'll have a similar thing. I am going to build in this area in Janeri, which is our home, home place. I'm going to build because we haven't. Do we have enough for a heron? We do have enough for a heron. Build ship. Let's build a heron. Okay. There we go. These ships are back. I'll repair the Mars. That ship's back. I will not repair the Sparrowhawk because it's too expensive to repair, apparently. Now I'll repair it. Fleet is on its way. All the way up the top there. Okay. Understandable. It's going to take two... Oh, and another fleet. Two fleets on the way. One there. And, ah, there we go. <laughs> the inevitable. What I thought we'd see... A lot earlier. And that's this guy <laughs> with his combination of ground forces and airships. Taking out this thing here. Well, I'll let them do it. And they've parked that in a, position, a weird position because they parked it originally. Right at the top there where our flak was taking it out. Okay, well we have lost that structure. We expected that to happen. Just seeing what they've got. It's got rockets. It's got... Well, it's a couple of rockets. A couple of cannons. Rifles by the look of it. So nothing, nothing major, but still something that we don't really want to see. This guy's attacking right at the top there. Um, the bluebirds, I didn't even remember. Oh, it looks like I've, uh, in, I've went to intercept, which is not what I meant to do. The bluebirds, we're going to move down. And these guys will move, will invade there. Just trying to see where the closest sparrowhawk is. The closest sparrowhawk is there. Could build another one. Build another Sparrowhawk. Just for interception. I think just for interception. Authorities in Frucian back. Catch a foreign agent attempting to set fire to the structure. Interesting. There you go. So, oh, look, what's that? <laughs> a vessel from here is going over there, really. Okay. <laughs> this is the mad scientist by the look of it. Oh, wow. Okay, so we'll repair the Sparrowhawk. And this one is now done. So I will intercept with that. See the interceptions there. We've got this one getting built. And another fleet. Oh, look at that. It's coming across the across the water. I'm going to intercept that as well. But I'm basically going to initiate as many attacks on as many fronts as I can. <laughs> it looks like he's escorting the, <laughs> the guy in there, but that's uh, not the case. So this is another one of their fleets. Again, we've seen this vessel before, and we've actually got a couple of these Mars classes. Boarding is relatively easy. There we go. And it's just keeping away from it now. I'll wait for 
the borders to do their thing. You can see I'm just waiting for them to move. And then I'll move the other way. They're getting the odd shot off. And, oh. Apparently it landed. We're out of coal. <laughs> Interesting. And I don't know if I'm going to be able to capture this. I've initiated odds to capture it. But it's not under command. No. I'll just say flee. No, will this be a draw? I think this might be a draw. Yeah. Interesting. So last time when we did boarding, it worked out perfectly well, but no. For that one, it did uh, It did not. That's over there. I need to fall back. I'll fall back to there. There's cannons researched. Let me just see where the other fleets are. That one's still moving in. This one is moving, but I am intercepting it just in time, but only just in time. We do have another Sparrowhawk, which I'm going to move over to here. Like I say, we're trying to stack as many vessels as we can. And let's start this fight. So this guy's got some rockets. We've seen this one before. So I've initiated an assault. And here we go. Good assault. Good assault. Boarding underway. Nothing else to do now other than just move away from it. Make sure we don't get shot by everything. So just initiating... Oh! <laughs> Evasive manoeuvres. What seems to have happened again is that they've repelled borders. Have they repelled borders? No, only just. But the Sparrowhawk is technically classed as destroyed. Um... Because, I will repair that, because it ran out of coal, which is a shame. There's the heron. We do have a heron now. Let's start putting a fleet together over here. This is a tiny shipyard, so I'm not a big fan of it. Build, hang on. We could build the llama. Why would we want to build that? <laughs> There's no reason to build a llama. Um, huge shipyard. There's the Mars. Let's bring that over there and build ship the bluebird at least a couple of them because we want to start stacking those up so I think this area here I think we will end up losing it I mean it obviously depends on what they have so those three blue bluebirds have met up so I'm going to move over there that's been rearmed. We're going to move over to this area now. Because we should be able to capture whatever's there after the fact. Oh, interesting. So because we did a gentle takeover, we've still got all three of these airfields. And what I'm noticing that they don't have... <laughs> they don't have any if at all uh, anti like plane weapons or whatever any of the light airborne stuff so the planes which in triplanes in this case are able to attack a complete impunity we're gonna go for rapid fire because we're so close and we are, we are actually getting destroyed and max speed it out and I think these will be able to defeat this you know Obviously, they have to land and rearm and refuel. But we've already taken out probably half of their suspendium. But they've only got one left. And the weapons. There's all the suspendium. It's no longer got any lift. And it's just split in two. <laughs> okay. Wow. That's brilliant. I think that's a game over for them. Who would have thought that... It will be that successful. I mean, we only successfully took these out with boarding. Some of these guys, you can see, can't actually land. But there's nothing left for that. And that's a victory. 
Oh, brilliant. Well, initiating some boarding over there. And I'm just trying to see where the rest of our fleets are. This is another airfield. Start the fight. Move down to the airfield. Probably won't get all the way there because of this tree. It does feel like there's not much fight left in the AI. I mean, obviously we do control most of the space, so it's not like a big surprise to anyone. But at the same time, we still have to make sure that we are we're not like over exerting ourselves and we are defending oh so here's our bluebirds finally and they have decided to basically give in I have a feeling that there's a lot of that gonna go around so let's just keep moving and there's the rear ships so powerful and so accurate you see it only uses coal as well general takeover and there's a lot of stuff here these little ones that they haven't actually bothered with which is curious I would have thought they would have done that so I've told those to go over on the right hand side which is probably the last time we'll ever <laughs> probably the last time we'll ever really see those things because they're so slow Obviously, they are moving fleet away as well to try and stop some of this. But I think this is basically it now. And well, at least we are able to use some of these ships in anger. I do think next time, though, we'll probably, as a campaign, just give unlimited tech. Start a tech level top end. Because why not? See, I'm just invading with these, and it's it, there's nothing to. Oh, oh, <laughs> right. So it's just when the game I thought was not going to fling any more surprises at us, we're invading this. Look at that, rockets, huge towers. Those are brilliant. We're going to bring these guys right forward, like this. Actually, do we want to do that, or do you want to? Keep, keep away. <laughs> That's cool. I'm, I am moving the these guys around just to try and uh, stop some of the shots. But because of our area, uh, because of our arc of fire, we can get right under most of these cannons. These, look at these. They're like all weird pipes and structures that go all the way to the top. That's really cool. I like that. It's a brilliant design. And there's a victory. Gentle takeover. Of course, gentle takeover. There's no way we're going to... There's no way we're going to spend... Uh, spend time destroying those. We want to wanna keep those. And once again, we've got some small structure just to take over and a combination of boarding and a combination of captured ships boarding really is our forte and there you go gentle takeover this one I will have to move back to there just to actually no, I'll just invade that one how is that one that's going over there See, their fleet is heading over. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to invade their fleet. I'm going to stop. I'm going to intercept their fleet and stop it. What about down here? How we're doing? There's the heron. And we should have, yeah, a couple more bluebirds to move over. Or at least one more there. And we've got one of these big structures. Okay, interesting question is what do I want to capture the answer is almost certainly not this big one I want to move around no why did they go there oh, I told 
<laughs> said there and then they just dropped and landed on this thing and now I've lost propulsion and the suspendium okay fair enough that's been captured um, I, I don't even have the orders though to to change it so I can't I can't tell them to like go further and get off that thing and actually unsurprisingly we have actually lost this fight oh there's this rest of the sparrowhawk going down all right a defeat look at that it is one of their big big areas though I'm sure the bluebirds can deal with this on the way back <laughs> I'm sure they're going to take a million years to get over to that side, but they'll probably be able to deal with that. We're intercepting the fleet here. This guy's coming up just to... I think both of these will put... Yeah, we'll meet up there. Is it just the one vessel? It's the one vessel. Start the fight. Oh, have we not got any borders at all? No, okay, flee. I thought we had rearmed that, in all honesty. So I'll go to... There. Oh, another fight to deal with. Flee. Defeat. Right, move to there. There we go. <laughs> um, and a lot of these are just rays. Shots fired from left to right, is that? Yeah, left to right, less accurate. Fair enough. I mean, with these bluebirds, there's not much in it, really. We are losing some stuff, though. Okay. This is just territory control now. It really is. I mean, I know in the last... The last one as well. The last episode was a similar thing. But at least the, we were having some fleets come back at us that could potentially be a problem. Whereas at this stage, it's, it's just clean-up time. So I don't really want to submit anyone to that, quite frankly. Because... We've still got lots of territory to capture. Oh, we might actually lose this as well. Defeat that. Wow, okay. Right. I mean, we're still, we're still losing some stuff. That's because we haven't really uh, slowed down any. But I don't really want to subject anyone to basically another half hour of just taking 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 or so of the smaller outposts and then 1, 2, 3, 4 of the bigger ones. There's, they've got pretty much nothing left. They've got no resources. We're getting 752 a turn. There's no reason to, well, other than just the art of seeing it happen. Uh, there's no reason, I think, to to continue with this one. I think that's pretty much sorted. What I'm going to do, though, I am going to attack this Titan Bladeweed because that's what I said I was going to do at some point. And I want to check that out before we finish this. Oh, it looks like they've finally allied up. So they do have one, two, three, four cities. One, one, two, three, four... 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Actually, yeah, it's less than I thought of these small ones. Where we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Yeah, we've got more than three times as many and more tech as well. So it is just a, you know, a waiting game. And I think it would be... A bit silly to... Oh, brigands. A bit silly to subject you to another half hour of basically mopping up. Because there's, you know, there's nothing much I don't think really... Good grief. That we're going to see. That is... That is menacing. So this is one of what they call a Titan Blade Weed. And it is a big... It is a big plant. Oh! So I thought, oh, it's got these tentacles here. We're going to be alright. But it's just fired out... This sucker that's... Oh, yeah, yeah, it, it, it's grabbing onto me. And we are getting pulled in. Can we... Yeah, I've initiate reverse thrust. And it doesn't seem... Oh, oh okay. It doesn't seem to have done that much. But, uh, yeah, the rocket's hit. And... Oh, we're getting research off it. And it seemed to have just sort of squirmed about a bit. And then and then die. So, that was the Titan Blade Wave. 
All right, well, we're going to leave it there for this episode. In fact, the series, as I said, I know it might be a little bit of a disappointment that we're not getting 100% completion, but we've been here many times. We know where this is going. They've got a couple of fleets, but we've got we've got 10 grand. We could just set all of these going for building ships, and we'll just send them forward. There's... If we view this city, we can just go oh, seven percent to destroy. I mean, we spend money to try and do that, but we we can just send spies and destroy stuff. Yeah, it's over with. It's just a matter of time, and I don't think that's of great interest to to anyone. Either way, uh, that's been a bit of airships conquer the skies. I have enjoyed the series, but I must confess that it did slow down far too much for I think anyone's liking towards the latter half, just because of the basically waiting for technology we're using the same ships and there was no point in designing others it has been a big map though so you know i think this is the second largest map that we could have gone for but it was certainly a challenge um and there was been even up to the last episode there was still a lot of stuff that we had to deal with but now it's just a case of getting in there boarding I've, i'm gonna if i was to finish this off i just have to delete a lot of these slow ships and then just go in with high tech ones which is probably what we would do but yeah there you go either way i hope you have enjoyed it if you have any suggestions for uh, different campaigns different builds different ways of doing things i would like to hear them um if there's any massive desire to come back to see a complete on this then i'll, I'll do it but I, I don't think that's uh like i say it's a uh, pretty much a, a cert now so yeah Either way, hope you have enjoyed this one. If you want to see more of uh, more of airships, I've just opened up the screen here to show you the Empire of Generian. This is all. This is what we've captured. All of this. Yeah, I mean we haven't even got secret police on much as well and bonuses and no, that's just conquest mode. But yeah, massive cities, not not much defense maintenance and look at the research as well. So we could strip that down and get even more cash. Either way, we're going to leave it there for airships. Hope you have enjoyed the episode and the series overall. If you have any suggestions, as I said, for different builds or whatever, then I would like to hear them. And uh, yeah, we'll go from there as always. Looking forward to the next big update, which should hopefully be diplomacy and such. So that should make the campaign a bit more interesting and stop what we have here, which is just us waiting for money to then uh, sledge the rest of it. Either way, as I said, hope you have enjoyed it. Thanks very much for watching. Take care and generic partings.